Good morning, students. Welcome to the statistics class once again. Right? Uh, we will continue the lessons that what was left in the last video. We will continue it. So a kind of a recap. What I was doing, I was teaching you about the planning and preparation of a statistical investigation. And in the planning and preparation, I have told you or I have explained to you about those four points. Number one, I told you about the object of an inquiry. You need to have a clear purpose or a clear object, the objective of the inquiry. Very clear it should be. So when you have a clear purpose and a clear object, then you know students, everything will be very easy for us to do. The survey will be very easy. You can collect the data in, in the quickest time, the relevant data, and you can also do the analysis correctly and give the report very effect and, and we can give it in a in a quickest uh, time very quickly we can give and we can give an accurate report also so that is the reason why the main objective is very much important so once you have a clear objective the scope also will be opening up very uh, easily so what does the scope refers to scope refers to geographical area as well as it refers to the subject matter so geographical area where you have to conduct the survey, it will tell us and subject matter, what type of uh, data that you wanted it, it will tell us and it will give us an opportunity to ask about what type of a data we require okay, and collect the data. Then the so units of use, units used for the collection and measurement. I told you whatever right uh, units we need to use it in the, in the data collection, whether it is uh, rupees, if you are speaking about the currency, you have to use a, a rupee or a dollar. Uniformity should be maintained by all people who conduct the same survey. Okay, so there will be so many people, right? And so many people go and collect the data, but in a different currency forms, if they bring it out, then we will not be able to uh, present it and analyze it in a right way. That's why I, I have explained it to you. Uniformity should be maintained in the statistical units of collection. And the same measurements also you have to do it. What uh, measurements that we have to do? What uh, right uh, analysis that we have to do? Statistical units for analysis, statistical units for collection. In the statistical units for analysis, what is that uh, units that we need to use? Should we represent the data in the forms of ratios or in the forms of percentages or in the form of rates is what that also has to be decided very much uh, in the beginning itself so that your, day, your survey would go on smoothly. And the fourth one is the sources of data. There are two sources of data available to us. Primary source, it's nothing but if you go and collect the data directly from the individual, it is a primary source. If you borrow the data from somebody else, it is called as a secondary source. This is what was explained to you in the previous class. Let me continue the same with the other four points of it. The other four points is we have methods of collection of data. Okay. So, you know, students, when you think about the sources of data, primary source or secondary source students, that will open up. If ever you think about primary source, that will open up what type of uh, collection of data that we can do, what method of uh, collection of data that we could. There are various methods, students, various methods in collecting of data. Okay, so we need to be very particular in, uh, in using that methods, okay, very whichever survey you require, according to a particular survey, one method will be effective, if uh, another survey, that another method will be effective, so we have to think in, in what way, in what is the survey, what method should be applied, which are the methods, those methods are all in the later classes, we will learn them detail. Okay, you need to understand. Okay, this survey needs this method. So let me apply this method. So we need to understand that also. We need to plan that also correctly. What method should be applied? Okay, methods of collection of data. Then next is framing of format. We need to frame a format, students. Format of collecting the data. How we have to collect the data. Okay, uh, what uh, data, if ever we collect the data about heights, where the data of heights has to be presented, where the data about weights to be presented, where the data about the income and expenditure to be presented. Like that, we need to prepare a format for it. And we need to have that format ready, preparing that in a nice way, according to the survey, according to the subject matter, according to the information that you collect, we need to prepare a format to fill in the data. That preparation of that format also has to be done. Okay. And the next accuracy levels. Okay. This also has to be decided students very much. Okay. Right. Should me consider that the data that I collect 
should be accurate always or no okay should i take that data accurately or no is what we need to take into consideration students because you know some survey we approximate the values but some surveys we cannot approximate those values we have to give the accurate values in some surveys in some surveys we can approximate and give a round out round out numbers okay but in these some surveys we have to give an accurate accurate values students like for example what is that accurate value if you are conducting a survey regarding a value based items like you know, like gold like silver okay you know every milligram has worth some thousands yes or no yes students yes can we round it up then if ever he says that how many grams of uh, gold was stolen today if that uh, owner will say that uh, around uh, 30 um, uh, around 30 around 30 grams with uh, 0.33 milligrams is what i have uh, sold uh, something like that can we ignore that uh, point uh, grams point milligrams can we ignore no because they are worth they are worth thousands we cannot round it off there so we need to be very clear okay this survey can we make it approximate number yes heights if you find a person having a height of around 6.75 uh, inches then we can make it an approximate less 6.7 inches is it right 6 6 feet 7 inches it's not necessarily 75 we have to mention it okay 6.7 is okay we don't have any problem in presenting it but when in terms of the value of the items comes where accuracy is required we have to give an accurate data that is what we need to think about accuracy level where we have to use accuracy there we have to use it okay this is what is the seventh point is and the eighth point type of the inquiry now this inquiry that whatever you are doing it is this inquiry a a a a a inquiry which was conducted previously or are, are you following the same are you continuing that inquiry is what we need to understand and try to figure it out okay number 2 should this inquiry be be done regularly every year should we do it or no is what this also have to decide should this inquiry be called as an ad hoc inquiry or a regular inquiry ad hoc means once upon it once in a lifetime once suddenly we do it finish for that particular moment we conduct one inquiry finish it off this is what is called ad hoc is it to be continued regularly every year should we do it like this is what we need to decide okay so whether this inquiry should be made public or not public is all all these things are the questions that comes into picture so all these things has to be decided well before we start about it so this is what we have in this whole uh, you know uh, things in the, especially in the planning and the preparation stage so in the planning and preparation stage students i have uh, explained to you all these eight points students so you will not be asked explanation students to write it you will be asked only those points okay they may ask you for a 10 marks question or a 5 marks question okay okay they may say explain the stages and uh, explain planning and preparation stage in statistical inquiry explain a planning and preparation stage in statistical inquiry so when they say like that what you need to do explain you cannot you can only mention them okay you mention them mention these eight points what are those eight points the number one is object of an inquiry clear purpose number 2 scope of an inquiry okay number 3 units used for collection and measurements okay number 3 the sources of data okay number 4 methods of collection of data number 5 framing of format okay number 6 accurate number 6 framing of format number 7 accuracy level and number 8 and type of the inquiry so these are the things that we have it uh, regarding this planning and preparation students okay so make a note of these right and you also start to ponder about it start to think about these points if you can figure it out and uh, write out those points whatever you get it whatever you get the ideas regarding these points write it out in a piece of paper or in the same notes each point what is about this uh, object of an inquiry or what is this about the scope of an inquiry whatever you have whatever you get in your mind try to write it down that will be very easy for you to understand okay 
So here ends this uh, planning and preparation stage students. And the next one is, in, I teach it in the next class that is called as an, an execution of the survey. Okay, students? Okay, take care. Bye.